Hello everyone, Amory here. I hope that you guys are all having an awesome day. I had a super fun day working horses. We're getting all settled down. It's almost time to get everyone fed, but I wanted to jump on and just give everyone a quick update about our move to Wickenburg, why we did it in the first place, and what goes on while we're down here. I know there was a lot of questions kind of around that subject. Before we get into all the questions, I do want to take everyone around and show all the horses we brought with us and kind of introduce you or reintroduce you or maybe introduce for the first time because you haven't met them yet. So let's go take a look at all the horses we brought with us to Wickenburg. I know this is going to change because we always have horses coming in and out, but I'll give you guys a look at that and then I'm going to get to answer some of the questions that were left in the comments. Oh, another thing real quick that I just want to let everyone know about, put it in your calendars this Sunday, October 16th at 4 p.m. And that will be 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Me and Cisco are going to get on and do a live. We're both going to be around and so we want to do a live where we can ask, or you guys can ask us questions. We'll do a little Q&A, ask us all sorts of questions just about our lives, our horses, why we go from Flagstaff to Wickenburg. It'll be super fun to have some real-time questions and we can ask those or answer those for you guys and maybe just get to know us a little bit better. I know I told you guys last time that Arizona is Mountain Standard Time, which is true, except that Daylight Savings is still in play and Arizona doesn't follow Daylight Savings, so that actually means that Arizona is Pacific Standard Time. So put it in your calendars. This Sunday, October 16th at 4 p.m., me and Cisco are going to be on here doing a live Q&A for everyone. Okay, let's go check out all the horses we have with us in Wickenburg right now. I'm going to be giving the tour on Cisco's one wheel. I do have my own one wheel, but it is dead right now. So let's go meet all the horses on the one wheel. This is kind of our setup in case anyone was wondering. We live in a camper. Love the camper life. Okay, you guys already know and love Bumblebee. This is... Bumblebee is no longer my horse. He's going to get to stay with me until about March, but he is now owned by some really awesome people that I've known for a while, and I'm super excited for them to have him. He's just staying with me to do roping training and all that. You guys know and love Bumblebee. He is a five-year-old. He'll be six next year. Quarter horse gelding. There's Shorty Boy right here who I have introduced you guys to. You know and love him also. He's my main man. He had to come down with me, mostly because I don't want him losing his shoes in the pasture. I don't have a lot of time to get to him right now, but soon me and Shorty are going to be jackpotting. That is the plan. Here is Mr. Burlap. You guys saw Burlap in Cisco's training video where he was showing you his first ride on Burlap. And so if you haven't seen that video, I'll add it right here. Go check out the first ride on him. This is an outside horse owned by some really good friends slash customers that we have. This guy right here is Charlie Brown. You might have remembered meeting him in one of my pasture videos. He is a two-year-old quarter horse gelding that came from the Sutton Ranch and... We're really excited about him. He's kind of Cisco's little project. Cisco is excited to get him started, but then once he gets him going, he is going to be taking this guy back to Flagstaff to turn him out in the pasture, just so we don't have to feed him all winter if he's just going to be sitting around. Okay, and then I got the yearlings over here, which you guys may remember seeing just from one of my recent videos. We'll just say hi to them. So here's Blue Jean. 
I've just been doing groundwork with these guys. I haven't had a chance to video just because I haven't had a chance to sit down and edit a video for you guys. But Blue Jean, Carrot Cake, and Hank, they love their cookies and they come running. I don't have any right now. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, so these are all the pasture horses we have right now. I mean, we call this a pasture, and it is, but it's just like a dirt pasture, so kind of different from a pasture that we talk about when we're in Flagstaff. But let's go meet some of the horses we have in different pens, and then we have some kind of in stalls because they're either not our horses, so we can't turn them out, or they kind of have like some special diets or something that we're trying to keep them separated. Okay. So right here we got Mr. Trenchman. You guys have seen Cisco rope on him. We took him to Pitzers and stuff. He will be for sale coming up shortly when we get ready to do that. Um, and then Butters. You guys remember Butters from a pasture video. And I'm going to get him going and start roping on him soon. I'm loving his color. He's turning into like such a dark golden palomino. And fun fact about Butters is he came from Canada, and now he lives in Arizona. <laughs> but those are those two. This pen is the pen of Unique Horses. These are three Tennessee walkers that I have in training right now. Um, the gal needs to get some of these sold because she just has too much going on with all these horses. And some of them are just a little bit too much horse than what she wants. So these are, you might see these guys for sale soon, but there's some Tennessee walkers I have in training and then I'll get them posted for sale shortly. Over here, we got Miss Sweet Roxy. Roxy is a client horse I have in training. You can tell we rode today cause I didn't get a washer off. So she's got some saddle marks. Uh, I'm not actually sure Roxy's breed, but she is a bigger girl and maybe kind of a mixed breed. She's a sweetheart as well. And then right here, we've got another horse in training that Cisco's riding. Old eight ball. He's a black quarter horse gelding. And then right there, we got Nelly. I'm going to actually go around so I can show you her. Hi, Milo. Why are you up to? Okay, we'll get a better look at Nellie because she's eating right now. Nellie is my dad's two-year-old mare in training. Cisco's been working with her mostly doing groundwork and maybe we'll put a few rides on her. Oh, yes, sweet girl. Okay, we just got two more horses over here. We got Cisco. What are you up to, Cisco? <laughs> Fun. <laughs> we got Maverick right here. Maverick is an older quarter horse, rope horse gildan we have. He will be for sale soon also. Maverick is kind of our guy that gets some special feed just because he's older. His teeth don't work so well. We've been soaking some pellets for him to help put some weight on him. And kind of giving him some rice bran too. I think you guys might remember Maverick. We've had him for a little bit. And then our last horse down here with us is over here. This is Billy Girl. I see girl. She's not usually all the way over here alone, but there was a lot of weeds in this pen, so we were letting her eat those up. Billy is a very sweet mare that we've owned for some months and Cisco's been tuning her up in the roping. She's bred super well. He wants to keep her. I don't think we need another horse, but we'll see what we end up doing with Billy. Okay, that wraps up all the horses we have down here in Wickenburg with us. And now to answer some questions that you guys left to me. Um, why do we come to Wickenburg? Why do we split up and head down here instead of staying in Flagstaff? Um, a main reason is the weather. Flagstaff is in northern Arizona and so it's much colder up there and it snows and it's just hard to ride horses and work all day every day when we are having to deal with that kind of issue. 
Wickenburg is awesome because it stays pretty sunny and warm. It's southern Arizona and so it's like considered the desert down here and it just makes our lives easier as far as horse stuff goes. Another big reason is Wickenburg is just known for all the horses. There are so many horse people in this area. It is considered the team roping capital of the world. There's a lot of team roping. There's a lot of barrel racing. There's just overall a lot of horse related events that go on. And so for us, when we, as we train and sell horses, this is the place to be for us to meet new customers. Last year, we had people flying in from all over, from Alaska, Texas, Florida, all sorts of states like that. And so it's just awesome to be in a place that gives us that kind of opportunity because we wouldn't have that in Flagstaff just because it would be too cold for people to be trying horses out in the snow and stuff. And people just don't want to, you know, we kind of are in an area in Wickenburg where people want to come here anyways and then maybe when they show up they're like hey let's try a horse out as well so it just it's really good for business for us to come down here those are two of the main reasons another side reason is just me and Cisco both love it down here it's awesome it's so fun to be surrounded by people that you really fit in with um, Flagstaff's a little bit different there are horse people but it's nothing compared to Wickenburg there's just so many horse people, you know, we really fit in. It's kind of our niche here, so that's awesome. So another question maybe you guys are wondering is why we don't bring all of our horses down here, or I had some people kind of wondering why I don't bring the little Sully and Wasabi with me. And for the most part, if I'm not gonna be using them, I just only have so much time in the day, there's no point bringing them down here. I'm. We are really fortunate at my dad's place to have so much pasture. And pasture means free feed, or at least cheaper feed. And to be honest, we just can't afford to feed all of the horses. We kind of have to pick and choose. And that's why right now you don't see some of the horses like Penny and Poppy Seed and Titan and Lollipop. Uh, it's just costs too much to feed everyone, especially if you're not riding all of them. Hay prices have really gone up recently as well, so we just kind of have to pick and choose which horses we are going to be working with and which ones we need to have here. We have to have some outside client horses um, just to kind of have some money flow also, but then they actually kind of help us pay the bills so that we can have our personal horses. So that's a big reason about why we don't bring everyone with us, why we leave horses up there. Another reason is... If you guys have seen some of the videos of my dad's pasture, it's just a really awesome pasture for horses to go be kicked out and learn how to be horses. They have to go up and down rocks and cliffs and things like that. They have to go to water every day. They have to have social skills and get along with each other. So overall, it's just good to leave some of the horses up there. Now, we do go back to Flagstaff every now and then. We'll be going back up soon. My dad needs some help moving his cows, so we are going to make another trip back up there soon. And it's not like we're kind of stuck down here or anything. It's about a three-hour difference, so if we do need to head up there, we can. It's kind of nice that we have my dad's place to keep horses and kind of feed them for a much lower cost and then come down here and still be able to work and enjoy the warm weather and meet people. So we really love, we kind of get the best of both worlds and we really love that. I hope that answers a lot of your guys' general questions. That's kind of what I can think about why those are our main reasons why we come down here, why we do what we do and take the horses we do. Kind of just for business, uh, for money, for meeting people, all sorts of different reasons. We have so much fun when we're down here and we get to kind of jackpot and rodeo more also. So stay tuned for that. The videos are not going to slow down. I've had some other things to do, but I'm going to be right back to making videos all the time. There's just so many more horses we get to work with and help and so many adventures we get to go on. So I'm definitely going to be taking you guys all along with all of those adventures. I hope you are enjoying this journey as much as I am. If you're not already, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell. It goes a really long way in supporting us to keep creating content and to keep doing what we love so that we can share it with everyone else. If you have forgotten, I'm going to remind you one more time, make sure to put it in your calendar. This Sunday, October 16th, 
at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Me and Cisco are going to be going live on YouTube to do a little Q&A and ask, answer all the questions that you guys might have for us. So thank you. Have a good night. It's time to get these guys fed. Okay, everyone's fed, but I wanted to show you my favorite thing. Okay, my favorite thing is inside this horse trailer. And I call this my greenhouse. Ta-da! <laughs> I brought all my plants with me from Flagstaff. I need to water them right now, and that's what reminded me. But they're doing so good here. I'm getting, I guess, I just have tomatoes. And one, like, sweet pepper plant. But look... We got some sweet peppers, and this is a flower. I can't even remember the name of it. And it is still alive, it just don't have any flowers right now. But uh, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Uh -huh.